Morning, I'm Nick, and today I'm gonna to make a quick video about mounting a stock feeder to uh, my Hammer C341 Comfort. Uh, just what I'm using it for, and kind of some of the choices I made about picking a stock feeder and deciding how to mount it. Hope you find something interesting about it. All right, so I, uh, I am making some windows and doors for a cabin that uh, I'm building. And so I've got you know 28 pieces of material that have to be coped and sticked. Uh, having some experience in a professional shop doing this, I decided that I wanted to have a stock feeder for the uh, for the sticking operation because you know I got a lot of pieces to run through and I wanted to be consistent. Using a stock feeder will give me the nice consistent finish and also, of course, there's a lot of safety involved. So I looked at a bunch of different stock feeders, uh, Grizzlies, and you know other things that are out there. Uh, I would have bought the. Felder H32, which is a smaller version than this one, but they didn't, you know, there's none in stock. Uh, so I ended up getting a Felder F3, or I'm sorry, S308. And I mean, this thing is a beast. Um, I mean, it is definitely a, you know, shop grade professional uh, stock feeder. So no problems there. I mean, I would probably have preferred something a little bit smaller, but I'd rather have one now than not have one at all. Um, I'm using a set of Freeborn, uh, they're PC 1010 cutters, uh, although because I'm doing a glass profile, there's an additional cutter that you have to buy. That's that big two inch high cutter there. Um, I've also got, so I bought these feather boards off Amazon. I think the company was Fulton. I'm not trying to sell them, but they, they work really well. So they mount in the, the T-channel -ch track of the sliding table, which right now is unlocked but the table will be locked in position when I'm running the stock and that just helps keep everything nice and tight up against the fence. So I'm, I'm happy with that purchase. Um, so mounting it. All right, so Felder sells a tilt away mount for stock feeders. I could not get any kind of documentation from them with dimensions or drawings or how it mounts. Um, and I, you know, it's $260 to buy one. And I'm pretty sure that because I have this outfeed table set up on, you know, for both the shaper and the table saw, that there's just not enough space for that tilt away stock feeder mount. And to be honest with you, I don't really plan on using my stock feeder all that much. I mean, I might use it a few times a year. I don't need it permanently mounted to the machine. I'd rather just take it off when I don't need it. So what I did, and this is a super, I'm not trying to say this is like the world's greatest solution, but you know, I had an old piece of LVL laying around. I clamped it to the infeed table of the joiner, drilled some bolt holes. The end of it is is actually resting on the outfeed, outfeed table. You can see right there, there's just enough space for it to be supported there. Like I tell you, it works great so far. So I don't know, I saved myself 260 bucks and it works. Um, the other thing I like about this is that, although I think that the stock feeder can reach the table saw blade, um, with the jib boom totally maxed out. If I decide to use the stock feeder for a repetitive ripping operation, I could also just flip the LVL over, mount it on the outfeed table and have it closer and in the right position. So for me, I feel like, you know, I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I'd like to have the option to use the stock feeder for the table saw as well. Um, so that's, that's really it. I mean, I will say that so this stock feeder cost a little over a thousand dollars. You know, if you were to buy a Grizzly, uh, the, their smaller stock feeder, I think it's like seven hundred fifty dollars. You know, plus whatever in shipping. And then the other thing about it is their their stock feeder, and I think some of the other small stock feeders have a a fairly high feed rate at their lowest setting. And so, and I've read a bunch of reviews on the internet saying people you know, the feed rate's too too fast and that they had to buy a kit to slow the feed rate down. And I gotta tell you, but I think by the time you spend the shipping and buying the slow speed feed kit for it, you're gonna have spent $1,000 anyway, and you're gonna get a smaller stock feeder that probably is, you know, not quite as nice as this one. Um, so this one has a, a 3.2 meter per minute slowest stock speed, which works out to somewhere in the, you know, sort of like 12 to 13 feet per minute, I think or maybe like 11 feet per minute. Um, so that works well for what I'm doing. And it is also metal gearing inside. So I think it's a good purchase. I mean, we'll see how much I actually use it, but uh, 
yeah, anyway, so for anyone that's looking for a stock feeder for their, their hammer setup, uh, that's, this is what I chose, and, and hopefully there's something about this that you find useful or interesting. Thanks. All right, just a real quick correction. So the slow speed feed rate on the stock feeder is about uh, 10.5 feet per minute. So just uh, want to be accurate for all of you out there on the internet who are going to jump down my throat about misspeaking on that. So hope everyone has a good day.